everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Artist Empire here, and in today's fun video, we're going to talk about an important topic in the world of scroll saw woodworking. And if you guys read the title of the video, we are going to be talking about sanding. Sanding is an very important aspect of the scroll saw woodworking medium and you guys know that I am primarily a scroll saw woodworking artist and I'm sorry that I haven't done a video like this yet I feel ashamed that I haven't brought a video like this to the platform yet and there are videos about sanding on projects throughout YouTube and you know just several YouTubers have made them that do woodworking videos but I just wanted to do my own take on it and keep in mind this is my personal opinion so it's not correct it's just how I have achieved the best results that I have achieved out here in the workshop with these scroll saw project videos that I make and nine times out of ten you will see me sand my scroll saw projects once we're done at the scroll saw and have everything removed from the waste wood we will go to my little sanding area and use this sander here. This sander here is a vibrating palm sander. It does not have the orbital motion like an orbital sander. I actually have one here. You know, it does not spin or anything like those traditional uh, more aggressive sanders do and this one here is just a lot more easier on the scroll saw work and we're going to get into all that here in a second but this is the hyper tough brand I picked this up at Walmart when I got back into scrolling real good I had broke some projects again with the orbital sander I did have and wanted something that would be a lot more kinder to the scroll saw and fret work work out here in the workshop and this is the hyper tough brand I know that's their older brand but it's still rocking and rolling I have a square piece of sandpaper there I use 180 grit sandpaper to sand 90 percent of my scroll saw work and I've used this for years and I use it in conjunction with another item and that is this black piece of material here and you guys have asked in several videos what the black material here is and it's been used and abused and it is just simply kitchen drawer liner you know you buy this it's usually in a roll and you can kind of feel it to feel how you know like it will be to not let items move and everything I picked this one up I believe at the dollar store big box store sell them as well in the kitchen department and it's all it is is kitchen drawer liner and you can see there I've just folded it over and what it does is it has a slight stickiness and rubberiness to it if that makes any sense and that helps when you put the scroll saw work on it to where it will not slide around when you're trying to sand it that's why you always see me go over there now occasionally I will hand sand something and then I do not use this but these two things are very essential out in the woodworking shop and now 99% of the time I will pre-sand work before I attach the scroll saw pattern now in that case I will use the orbit sander here with some aggressive sandpaper you know to quickly smooth everything out and then I'll proceed to a finer grit sandpaper before attaching the pattern but then when all of the scroll work is done we will of course go to the vibrating palm sander and the reason I go with the vibrating palm sander I'm going to show you this piece here that I cut out last year this is a diesel locomotive and this was an upcycled piece of an old shelf that was in the house and it was grimy with you you know just stuff being set on the shelf taken off it was banged and beat up and you know just very decrepit and I ran it through the thickness planer and then I used the orbit sander with some high grit sandpaper on it to really get it smooth and then we done all the scroll work you see here but then I went to the vibrating palm sander because I did not want delicate details like the train's horns here at the top or any of this delicate work here in the middle to break off with that aggressive nature of an orbital sander just going around and around and everything I have lost some beautiful scroll work in the past by not thinking ahead and using that orbit sander just because it was nearby and I hate to say that but it is what it is I want you guys to know that I'm not by no means perfect out here and I still make mistakes every now and then I know the videos depict me just going straight through with projects but there is mistakes made out here of course it is always trial and error but the vibrating palm sander really brought out all of the details in this and now I know you're going to ask me what if you have some of those fuzzies that pop up on scroll saw work especially if you're cutting something and the blades getting a little bit dull the fuzzies will really accumulate and for those I use these little sanding sticks here these can be found I have found in the hobby aisle at hobby stores especially where like the model cars and model rockets and all are and what it is is high grit sandpaper sandwiched between a piece of foam board you can see it bends there and you can really 
like get it in to really get in those nooks and crannies and sand those fuzzies away or just an area where a sander might not get to. A subscriber to the channel sent me a whole pack of these and I use these all the time out here in the workshop. This is just some I have laying by the scroll saw. If I quickly want to just touch up something to make sure something came out right. Selection of sandpaper is also key out in the workshop and you guys know I am with Klingspore's Woodworking Shop. They support me and that is what I am using out here in the workshop and this is the grit here that I used in the palm sander. I just showed you the vibrating one and it is 180 grit. These are nice fine grit sandpaper for sanding again that delicate scroll saw work. Now of course there's nothing never wrong with just traditional hand sanding you know if that's all you have access to. That's all I had access to years ago and that's probably why when I very first started scroll sawing at 14 and I was making very simplistic things I would cut something out not even sand it because I was not aware of that. Again, I was just learning back in the day and then I would just, you know, go on and stain it and not even put a clear coat on it, you know. That was because I was still in that learning phase, but then I have grown and evolved hopefully as a woodworker and as a human being as well. You guys have also seen me use these sanders here on camera and again, these have Kling Spore's Woodworking Sandpaper, Shop Sandpaper in these. This one I actually picked up at Kling Spore. It holds used up or even new orbital sanding disc. It's got the Velcro here on it to where you can quickly change them out. I think I got this for less than 10 bucks. I actually have two of these. One is in the house and my mom actually uses one as well for some of her ceramics for sanding away rough edges because it's just that much of a comfort and grit to hold. But the one I will use most is this one right here and this was my grandfather's and this is actually a sheetrock sander. It's actually underneath the sandpaper here got a little piece of foam right there and you can see it. It's been nicked from just having rough stuff put on it but that allows something to contour over something you know and I will use it to quickly sand stuff and I use this one all the time and it's always close at hand when I'm out here working in the workshop but I feel this is an important topic to talk about again with that vibrating palm sander you can produce some beautiful works just like this diesel locomotive that I made and I'm so happy with this it hangs on the display wall and it's one of the talked about pieces when people come over to visit you know as a conversation piece but again with that orbital sander going around and round as well as it having holes in it here for the dust collection here it could easily grab the horn grab some of this delicate work down in the front of the diesel and just rip it away and waste all of that time you spent over at the scroll saw now there's always potential you can fix it but I feel it's not worth the risk and that's why I go with the vibrating palm sander here and with it I don't even poke the holes in it here you know for the dust collection for the bag that's long since disappeared out here in the workshop it's just the nature of things out here but that way there's nothing that can catch this once I'm sanding it if that makes Makes any sense but I hope this video has been insightful to you guys it's a video that popped into my head and I wanted to do it again there's several others over on the YouTube platform you know if you guys want to go and check them out and delve deeper into sanding and everything this is just my basic sanding setup for my scroll saw woodworking out here in the workshop and it's what I produce amazing results results like this diesel locomotive here and again I hope you have found this video informative if you're new here please click the subscribe button and also follow me across all my social medias under the artisan pirate name as always links to contact me as well as all of my socials will always be linked down in the comments below these videos that's about all for this one remember guys if I can make it or do it so can you I'm the Artisan Pirate. Take care, and I'll see you guys real soon.